This week's hometown hero is a Navy veteran who survived repeated kamikaze attacks during World War II. So I asked my dad, he really didn't appreciate me going to service. And my one brother went in before, two weeks before me. So he said, well, it's up to you, so. Kimberly, Wisconsin's Art Belling joined the Navy in solidarity with a friend who feared getting drafted into the Army. Belling was just 18 years old and ended up on a destroyer, the USS Breen, in the South Pacific. Well, I made six invasions, and I can't name all the other things. I was a very lucky person. I should have been killed four, four times. I met him recently at a veteran celebration where he was singled out as the oldest veteran in attendance at 101 years old. But the memories of a teenage torpedo man are as fresh as ever. On December 3rd of 43, Japanese planes were dropping them too late. One went over my head. <laughs> <laughs> Especially when recalling Japanese suicide missions with the planes diving at American ships. Not even a transfer got him out of harm's way. I was the second class oldest one, so I took the transfer. It was a lucky transfer because my ship went out to Okinawa and on Easter Sunday morning it took two suicides. And one of the suicide bombers hit under my torpedo tube. All these years later, Belling speaks with equally great detail about his love affair with Marge, who was determined to make it to her 100th birthday with him, but passed away shortly after. The wife and I, we got married, had six children, and uh, she always took care of the kids. We had sailor reunions, which my wife really enjoyed. I had a good life. What is your reflection, having served our country, about our military, about our government now? Yeah, unity. Get together. Be normal. And that's for the government, Congress and the Senate. And on this topic, I learned Art has also earned his stripes through the unlikely friendship formed with the property manager of the retirement community where he once lived. So my passion for World War II is something that I really take a lot of pride in. And then I met Art Bailing, our guest of honor today, um, quite a few years ago. He became a big part of our lives. Um, and actually, he actually fought against one of my great uncles um, during World War II in Japan. So it's nice to see that the peace between the two countries has now evolved. There is so much more to this story. I've posted the full interview for our military enthusiasts out there and maybe even a social studies teacher or two on the WFRV YouTube channel. No way. He fought against her great uncle. Yes. Wow. And they are the best of friends. Can you imagine? I can uh, imagine. Only in Wisconsin. Wow. All right.